Each and every day, you should be asking yourself one question. Where's Waldo? You seriously never know where he might show up. But in the meantime, we have a new comment. I'm going to address it like a man. Here we go. Norwood 3. Hard to be consistent and decisive now. That's the video I made yesterday, one of them. And our good friend Maxwell Smart, who I think may or may not be a barber. I get that impression, may have told me, forgive me if I forgot. I think Max is a cuts hair. Uh, here's what he said, quote, once you find a haircut that works for you, you may need to have it cut more often to compensate for the thinning. To which I actually responded last night on my personal computer saying, that sounds like too much trouble. He goes on from that point to say this, it is your definition of trouble time and or money. If you reduce the period of time between haircuts, you will remain within a comfort zone and be happy with the results. Depending on your hair density and hair length, it may be necessary to cut it every three weeks instead of every six weeks." End quote. All right, so there we go. There is the response from someone who I think is a barber who, who would who would know the proper thing to say and it's it's very it's quite reminiscent of Harry Cuball which I I'm assuming still might be watching these videos Harry Cuball was also a guy that knew a lot of stuff about cutting hair and uh, for a while that he was commenting daily on my videos so if you're still watching this uh, I remember you Harry Cuball but he said the same thing he said that as your hair gets thinner you're going it's going to be a good and important idea to be getting more haircuts frequently. And so that stuck with me. And so now I'm hearing it again from someone who knows something about cutting hair. And uh, so here's what I have to say about that. I have mentioned recently in a video that I see myself as a low maintenance kind of guy. I really truly do see myself as low maintenance. In fact, when choosing my wife a decade ago, when I, when I met her, one of the things that really stood out to me is that she was a very amazingly beautiful woman, but was low maintenance. And that is a rare combo. At least that was my experience. And that was an investment well done on my part because I have a beautiful wife who is, comparatively speaking, low maintenance. Low maintenance is, is what I'm all about. I love lowering the overhead and making life as, as simple as I can. So you can imagine why you know, as I started unofficially com coming to terms with my Norwood 3 situation, which I didn't grasp that identity until this week, actually. But going into Norwood 3, it was just easier there for a while just to buzz it off. For me, that was the lowest maintenance thing I could do. So, but then I realized, you know, I could still try to grow my hair and see what works. So, you know, this, this year, 2017, is quite the epitome of that. Uh, since I'm trying to continue looking like that Campbell soup guy. So here's what I have to say though. Like if I had, if my hair was so thin that I had to get it cut every three weeks, then I would just buzz it off because it's not worth it for me. Like I totally get it. Like the right thing to do to, for it to look nice is to, you know, get it cut every three weeks, but it's not for me. I, at that point, if it, if my hair was so thin that I had to do that, I just, at that point, would definitely buzz it off. It wouldn't be worth it to me to have hair. Three Every three weeks, going and getting my hair cut? No, I mean, it's hard enough for me to fit in my schedule and to pay for that, you know, I guess every six weeks is probably what I do, something like that. And I can, I can make that work, but three weeks, that is the point where it's, I'm buzzing it off. It's too thin to, to maintain and keep. Not worth it. Uh, so, so thank you because you're right in saying what you're saying. I'm sure of it. I'm, I'm confident you know what you're talking about. But uh, I, I am, I'm a low maintenance guy. Three weeks to main a, a hairstyle in which I have a Norwood 3 going on and it's thinning. And look, look at that, man. Look at that. There are certain days it just looks, but I mean, that. Wow, let's like just focus on that. Let's focus on that. For anyone who watches my videos and says, I have no right to talk about balding, I haven't lost enough hair. 
The, I mean, and it's not just that spot. It's that way across the top. But when there's some kind of cowlick situation like there is today, on perhaps a worser hair day, that's what we're seeing. I should probably run my hands through my hair to kind of... But yeah, look at that. So yes, so when it gets so thin that it's going to take a number three to keep things in order, I'm done. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the buzz it off thing once a week. And to me, that's not high maintenance because I'm shaving once a week anyway. So I might as well just do that too while I'm shaving my face. Which goes back to the low maintenance thing. I don't shave my face every day, only once a week. Just make a mess once and be done with it. So, no, I will not be cutting my hair every three weeks as I keep thinning. Because that's the main thing I think that we're learning is that it's not, my hairline's not the main issue at this point. It's how thin is it going to get. And this is even with me using the pumpkin oil, using the, what's it called? Argan oil, as well as obviously the rosemary. This is just a, a day where it, you can really tell how bad it is. It, man. So I'm glad we had this moment where we could really process that together because I've got people saying that I've got too much hair to talk about hair loss. If, uh, if you're watching this video, you, you see that I'm just good at disguising it. All right, so yes, when my hair is too thin and I've got to do every three weeks, I'm done. Every four weeks, I'm done. I can handle a month. A haircut a month, I can handle that. That's normal. Beyond that, I feel like I'm too desperate to hang on to my hair and I just need to let it go at that point. That's what I personally am going to do. I'm not going to be a three weeks guy. I'm going to be a six weeks guy. And then at that point, I'll be a one week guy buzzing it off.